So this is fun. We're going to talk all about the ask. And kicking ask is something that I've been doing for well over a decade. I help my clients come up with an ask that's super clear, super specific, and easy for them to remember and share, whether they're online or in the real world or wherever they may be, even at the checkout line at the grocery store. So what is the ask? Well, let me tell you a little quick story. I've been running Motor City Connect starting in 2005. We'd have meetings every month. Then for a while we had 14 meetings a month. So I have seen my fair share of 60 second commercials or elevator pitches. In fact, I've seen far too many. So many that I said, there's gotta be a better way. Listen, the elevator pitch idea is great, but we never met in an elevator. I had 280 some meetings, zero in an elevator. The 60 second commercial is okay if you're never gonna see those people again, but if you see the same folks every week or every other week, the 60 second commercial is painful, especially because nobody has an idea of how long 60 seconds actually is. If you're in a meeting with 50 people and there's 60 second introductions, you can do the math on how long that takes. That's almost an entire hour just of introductions. So you miss out. So at Motor City Connect, we came up with a very, very simple plan and we called it the ask. Here are the components of the ask. Your name, your business name, your business category or industry. And if you were looking for a job, what type of industry you wanted to work in, right? Pretty simple. And then the ask bar. Who's the one person or who's the one company or what's the one big idea that if someone in this room could help you get introduced to right now would absolutely make your month. That whole thing takes about 15 seconds. So you can breeze through 50 people and everyone has an idea of how they can be of service to you. Straight away, no wondering. So we'll get into the components of a good ask and what we really need to focus on in another video. But for now, here's an example. My name's Terry Bean. I'm the founding member of Tri Bean LLC. I do business growth coaching, training, and speaking. I am looking to meet vice presidents of sales or marketing that are really interested in growing their service related business. So you got my name, you got my business name, you got the business category I play in. And my ask was a little general because I said vice presidents of sales or marketing, but that narrowed the scope down of the people you know from, let's say you know 100 people, maybe you know 12 of them that are in that category. I'm more likely to be able to connect with one of those 12 than if I said, I'm looking to meet anybody with hair or skin. No offense, Arbonne people. So it's one of those things that you really have to hone down in your network's mind who you're looking for so they can make better introductions for you, which will not only save them time and energy, but it saves their people time and energy of meeting people they may not want to meet. And especially it saves you time and energy from meet, meeting people you don't want to meet too. All right, we'll talk more about this soon.